welcome back friends in this video uh, I want to do one short example on circle geometry so the question is calculate the angle Q angle R and angle S the shape is semicircle so this is a circle and this is the center okay so this is your this is your center okay so and this is this is a line of mirror line so if this is a mirror line <coughs> uh, suppose let us name this say a and this is b so if this is a mirror line what you're saying is if you fold this semicircle these two lines r a would be equal to r b that is what you can see okay What's other fact that you can see? <coughs> Suppose let me tell, name this angle C or point C, and this is point D. Now you should know that angles in a semicircle is a right angle. If you take, if you make any angle in a semicircle, is a right angle. This is a rule. This can be proved very easily, but uh, that's not my focus here. So, angle A, C, B, you can say is an angle in a semicircle. This angle A, C, B is an angle in a semicircle, so that's 90 degree. So, I can say this is a right angle. Okay, which is the other angle that is in a semicircle? So, well, you can say angle A, D, B is also right angle. So, A, D, B is also 90 so I'm just finding the angles that I know, probably that will help me to find these three angle letters. Angle Q, angle R, and angle S. Okay, so what is that we can do now? So, um, we've got angle. Okay, angle, this is angle 40, 41. Okay, so can you see if this is the mirror line this angle Q would be equal to angle 41 okay so imagine you fold it imagine this as a piece of paper a semicircular piece of paper and if you fold this this will overlap on Q angle 41 will overlap on angle Q so you can see like this using uh, mirror line okay and mirror line is also called a line of symmetry I can say angle Q is 41 degrees okay because this cuts so these two if this is a mirror line this and this are reflection of each other so you can say mm, we are using the mirror line okay now what else can we say can we find R now? <clears throat> okay, so we have found Q. So can we find R? Okay, so angle R. Okay, what else can we do? Mm, okay, so if this is 41, how much is this angle? Angle in a triangle adds to? Yes, 180. So you can say in so let me write the rule angles in a triangle you can write like this angles in a triangle equals 180 degree so can I say suppose say this is X suppose let me name that as that as angle as X so can I say 90 plus 41 plus X is equal to 180 okay so this is 131 plus x is equal to 180. So if we take away 131 from both sides, so take away 131 from this side, take away 131 from this side. I'll try to do without the calculator. So that will also help me to teach you how to subtract. So I don't know 131. Okay, 180. Take away 130. Okay, that's pretty easy. That is 50. And then you have to take away 1. So this is 49 degrees. So if this is 49 degree, what is angle X 
plus angle R equal to, let me change color. Can I, angle X, can I say like this, angle X plus angle R equals to what? The angle on a straight line, that's 180. Okay, so angle X we just saw is how much? 49. So can I say 49 plus angle R is equal to 180. So if you take away 49 from this side, you have to take away 49 from this side. So angle R is equal to 180. Uh, first I will do 180 minus 40, which is uh, 140. And then you have to take away 9. So that is 131 degree. So angle R is 131. Okay, so angle Q is answered, angle R is also answered. Now what can we say about S? So if this is S, now can you see angle R, A, triangle R, A, let me change color. Can you see triangle R, A, B is what type of triangle? We just saw R, A is equal to R, B because they are reflection of each other. Okay, so I'll do in this space. So you can say triangle ARB is what type of triangle? A is an isosceles, isosceles triangle. Okay. Therefore, base angles are. You should know base angles are equal. So I want to squeeze in here. Okay. So if this is S. Can you understand this is also S? These are the base angles. Angle A and angle B are the base angles. And angle R we already know is 131. So can we say S plus S plus 131 is equal to 180. So this is 2S plus 131 is equal to 180. So let me erase this that I have space to work here. So this is, so if you take away 131 from this side, if you take away 131 from this side, you have to take away 131 from this side. So what is left? You've got 2S. So I'll do it without 180, take away 131. Yeah, you got it here. You already know that. That is 49. So there is a pretty interesting relationship here. 2S is 49, so if you divide this side by 2, so S, okay, is 49, so 50 divided by 2 is 25, so that is 24.5, okay, so we have answered all the three letters, okay, see you in the next video.